Can we all stand, please? Father, we worship you and praise your holy name. Move in this service, your service, your good presence, miracles, signs, and wonders. Let the people feel your presence. May you God to forgive us all of our sins, omission and commission. Bless the congregation that means house of praise. Bless the pastor, Pastor Lewis Wilson, Lord, the courage and knowledge, all the apostles and prophets, pastors and teachers, evangelists, sir. Let your presence be revealed. Come on, then. Come on, come on. In the name of the Kalamasha, your presence, move in this place, God. Let the Lord with God. The praise of power. Move in this place, God. We give you the Kalamasha. We give you the Lord Kalamasha. We give you the praise, God. We give all to you. We surrender. We surrender. Surrender. Our will is not our will, but your will. Thank God, God. Our uh, will says yes. yes Lord. Our soul says yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let your might come. Feel this place. Come on, clap your hands and worship God. Come on, I'm not sure. Come on, I'm Do it in Africa. Do it in Pakistan. Do it around the world. Worship God. Come on, I'm not sure. Worship Him. You can not You can be going. Yes, Lord, yes. Yes, Lord. 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 Let the presence shine from my your presence, God. Your presence shine. Feel the grace. Let the glory be revealed. Yes, Lord. Touch every prayer. Yes, Lord. Every scripture. Yes, Lord. Every exaltation. Yes, Lord. The testimony of the Yes, Lord. The word of God. Come from the moment of God. Touch the man. Yes, Lord. Right now. We're waiting on you, God. Yes, Come on in the room, God. Let go of the word. Rotation. Meet us in the space, God. And you give me glory. Yes, Lord. We give you honor. Yes, Lord. And we thank you for the presence. Yes, Lord. Let's just yes, worship God. Let's live for any of the worship. Yes, Lord. And then we can need some God for it. Worship you, Lord. The Alpha, the Omega, the Dependent, and the End. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Jesus. 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 Come in the room, God. Save. Deliver. You go into the sick and the shadow, God, and heal. Heal, Jesus. Jesus. Come on, say Jesus. Come on, call Jesus. Jesus. Jesus in the morning. Jesus in the new day. Jesus in the new day. Jesus. We keep you going. To show the young people. We will lose the sanity. Prosperity, healing, deliverance. And we worship you. We worship you the spirit and the truth. We keep the glory, honor, and the praise. Anoint the service. Let people have got wheelchairs. Anoint the service. That people have been like us here and filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. He said in Acts chapter 2, they said, Do not pour out my spirit. Not yes, your flesh. Yes, and your son and daughters yes, shall prophesy. Yes, so move yes, in the whirlwind upon the people. Yes, 
in many kinds of ways. We are God. 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 In the glory. Yes, Lord. And I yes, Lord. praise we pray. in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Now we'll have our scripture by our sister Carmen. Let's say praise the Lord and she the Lord. Yes. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Today, we have a reading from Romans 12, verses 1 to the end. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, yes. and all members have not the same office, yes. so we being many are one body in Christ, yes. and every one member one of another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. Whether well, prophecy let us prophesy according to of faith or ministry. Let us wait for our ministry or he that teaches on teaching or he that exhort or exhortation yes. that he that given. Let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with the diligence. Yes. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Oh, yes. yeah. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Plead to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love. In honoring, preparing one another. May slothful in business, fervent in spirit, yes. serving the Lord. Yes. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulations, continuing instant in prayer. Yes. Dis dis distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one towards another. Mind not high things but condescend a man of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Let consent to no man's evil for evil. Provide these honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, then peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto more wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thy enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing thou shalt help the poor, and shalt heap coil of fire on the dead. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. This is a reading from Romans 1. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. We praise the Lord for our scripture. Yeah. Yeah. Now we are going to have our. Uh, Statement of faith by our sister Sons. I mean, um, Sister Mia. We believe the Bible is inspired and only infallible, the written word of God. 
We believe the Bible is the inspired and only infallible and written word of God, that the scriptures are to be the complete basis of faith and practice for the believer, that nothing should be added or taken away from them. We believe in one true God who created and ruled the universe, who eternally coexists in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We believe in our Lord Jesus Christ, in his virgin birth, in his sinless life, in his miracles, in his vicarious and atoning death, in his body, resurrection, and session to the right hand of the Father in his personal future return to the earth with power and glory to rule thousand, a thousand years. <clears throat> we believe the originally good man will and fell to sin, ushering evil and death, both, both physical and spiritual, into the world. We believe the only means of being cleansed from sin and through repentance and faith in the precious blood of Christ and all that he did at Calvary. There is only one way to God and reconciliation in that is through the Lord Jesus Christ. We believe and practice two ordinances that is to be taken with serious solemn behavior to any one of the age of accountability. Word of baptism by immersion after repenting of one's sins and receiving Christ's gift of salvation and identifying with him. Humanity suffering and death for our salvation while these ordinances do not say they should be reversed whether the opportunity is given. We believe regeneration by the Holy Spirit is absolutely essential for personal salvation. We believe the resentful work of Christ on the cross provides healing of the human body in answer to believing prayer. We believe the baptism of the Holy Spirit according to Acts 2 and 4 is given to believers who ask for it. We believe the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit by whose indwelling the Christian is able to live a holy life. We believe that the death the we believe at death the spirits of the redeemed and absent from the body and presence of the Lord and awaits the first resurrection the spirit, soul, and body are reunited to everlasting life. We believe that after death the spirits of unsaved remains in conscious misery until the second resurrection the spirit, soul, and body are reunited in everlasting donation. We believe in the blessed hope, the rapture of the Church of Christ at Christ's coming. We believe and look forward to the new to to the perfect new heavens and the new earth that Christ is preparing for all people of all time who have accepted him. We will live and dwell with the with him there forever, following his millennial reign on earth, and so shall we forever be with the Lord. At this time we'll have our worship and praise. We'll have our testimony. We're going to take it way back now. We have our testimony service that everyone can sing their song and testify to the honor and glory of God. Amen. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army. No, I'm fighting for my life. Lord, I'm fighting for my life. Oh, my God. 
Oh, praise God. Praise Come God. on, you can be seated, but you can keep praising God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You find me, praise God, at Numbers, the 13th chapter. Amen. The 17th to the 18th verse, then the 25th to the 33rd verse. Gracious Father, we thank you. Oh, we cannot praise you and I pray that a robo shop. And we ask that you will speak to your vessel. Yeah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. You know what the people need to hear. You know how to do in advance all things. And we give you the glory in advance. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Give an honor to God again. Amen. To Apostle Mark Robinson. Yeah. Amen. To our precious Pastor Lois Wilson. Amen. To God's special ambassadors. Yes. That's you, you, and you. Amen. Thank God yeah. seeing our brother here. Yeah. My king, praise God. We just thank God yeah. for all things. Amen. And we're going quickly to Numbers 13. Amen. Beginning at the 17th and the 18th verse. I don't need a lot. Praise God. Yeah. And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan and said unto them, Get you up this way, southward, and go up into the mountain yeah. and see the land. Yeah. Where it is. And the people that dwell up there again, whether they be strong or weak, yeah. few or many. Yeah. And they returned, 25th verse. From searching of the land after 40 days. Yes. And they went and came to Moses uh -huh. and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel and of the wilderness of Paran to Gadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the yes. fruit of the land. Uh -huh. And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sentest us, yeah. and surely it floweth with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, leave it right there. Thank you. The people be strong that dwell in the land. And the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, awful, we saw the children of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. And the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea. And by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, the land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw giants, the son of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. Amen. Amen. How to handle the giants in your life. All of us have different giants in our life. Yes. God had made a promise to Abraham and renewed it with Moses. All the way back in Genesis 12 and 17, I'm going to give you this land. Hallelujah. God knew all those ites were going to be on it. And we have ites in our life. Yeah. Genesis, yeah. Amosites, Canaanites, Hittites. Yeah. Come on here. Yeah. Amen. Spiritual representation of many things. Oh, yeah. Praise the name of God. But he already promised them. Praise God. Now notice both groups yeah. Caleb and Joshua and all the other spies that went to spy out the land that Moses said to spy out the land they came back with two different reports. All the men, except for Joshua and Caleb, said there's giants in the land. Uh -huh. yeah. Now these giants, amen, 
they believed to be fallen angels that mixed with the daughters of the earth. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. And they were mighty and strong in stature. And you know what they said? They see us as grasshoppers. Now I'm going to tell you something. The giants ain't never saw not one of them. This was yeah. all in their mind. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Joshua and Caleb said, wait a minute. Our Lord is able, come on here, to give us the land. Hallelujah. We can pursue it. You see, but wait a minute. How is it that all these people saw the same thing but got the different report? And I'm going to tell you why. Because they each had their own perspective. The way they view things yeah. in their mind yeah. of the situation. Yeah. And it's the same to us. Yes. And I'm going to tell you another big difference. They were focusing on the giants. Yeah. While Joseph and Caleb were focusing on Almighty God. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise yeah. the name of God. Yeah. Two million people. Praise God. Right on the verge of entering their promised land. Praise God. Only two entered. Praise God. Why? Because the way they view their circumstance. What are we viewing that's blocking us from the promises of God? Come on, somebody. What are the barriers that we are having that's blocking us from the promises of God? Amen. Anything that gives us a behavioral thought against what God promised or a behavior pattern against what God promised is a stronghold and a barrier. But Jesus is able to break every chain. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, Jesus is able to break every chain. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. If the enemy yes. tell you, you'll never get out of debt. And you keep rehearsing that in your mind. Yeah. Praise God, you'll never get out of debt. If the enemy tells you, praise God, your, your son or your daughter, praise God, is not going to get well. And you keep rehearsing that in your mind. Praise God, what are you doing? You're magnifying that thing. Yeah. David tells us, praise God, in Psalm 34, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name. Amen. Together. Praise God. You see, why should I magnify God? Because what you meditate on is what becomes bigger in you. What consumes you. Amen. Praise God. The same brain that it takes for you. Amen. The same space in your conscious mind. Praise God. is the same space that you worry with, that you have fear with, that you can have faith with, and overcoming powers. Somebody say amen. Praise God. These enemies gave them low self-esteem. Yes. What is giving you low self-esteem today? What is taking your eyes off of Jesus? Praise God. Second Corinthians 10 5 tell us not to compare ourselves with anyone else. That's unwise. Amen. Amen. You are who you are. You are no greater than nobody else, but you're no less than nobody else. Somebody say amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It's what we focus on. We magnify it. You ever have a magnifying glass? Amen. That magnifying glass makes things bigger. We are to magnify on the things of God. Amen. Amen. One of the things we have to magnify and lift up is the word of God itself. Put the word of God in you. Let it become alive. It is alive. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. When you magnify God, you might have the same situation. You see, you might have the same challenge. But you're not going to look at it the same. You approach it differently. You're going to say, I'm not going to let this throw me under the bus. I'm not going to let this look at me as a failure. Come on here, somebody. Praise God. Amen. You have to allow God to be God. Allow God. 
Turn to your neighbor and say, allow God to be God. And when you stay in his word, you become sensitive to his voice. You ever turn on the radio and you hear a lot of static? You got to choke the world out. The chores of life out sometimes. It's discipline. You have to take time and you got to take an effort. Amen. To put God first. Oh, yeah. So you can hear his voice. Yeah. When you hear his voice, you begin to know who God is. Yeah. And you begin to know who you are in God. Praise God. Yeah. God wants us to realize, amen, that I'm the same God of yesterday, yeah. today, and forever. Oh, yeah. Whose report are you believing today? Yes. Yeah. Amen. When I was born, the doctors told my mother she had sickle cell, her chances are very slim. In that bullshit. And most people on my mother's side with sickle cell didn't live to see 40. My mother turned her face to the wall. In July 9th, I saw 69. Somebody give God some glory. Whose report do you believe? Don't make the doctor's report bigger than God. Yeah. Start saying by his stripes I am healed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Proverbs 18 21 said death and life is in the power of the tongue. Yeah. Amen. I know we say it as a cliche but your words have power. Turn to your neighbor and say your words have power. Your words have power. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Now David actually saw a giant. Some people say he was much as 12 feet tall. Praise God. You read 1 Samuel around the 16th chapter, amen, and 14 to the 16th chapter. This man really existed. Yeah. Everybody was afraid of this man, this giant, uh -huh. but David. Yeah. His own family said, David, you can't fight this man. Yeah. Soldiers even said, don't go up against him. Yeah. When David came out, he looked at David and Mark and said, I'm a dog, you bring something like this to me? Yeah. But I'm all shocked. Yeah. But what did David do? David knew where the source of his strength was. Yeah. He said, you come out to me. Praise God with a sword and a spear. But I'm coming out in the name of God. Somebody yeah. said, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you. David had a different outlook than yeah. his family. Yeah. And sometimes your closest relatives... And friends don't see what you see in the spirit realm. Say hello. Hallelujah. He knew he wasn't strong in himself, but he knew he was strong in the Lord. Somebody say glory to God. Wow. Amen. I want to see, tell you how the power of words is and when you have faith in God. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Praise God. Right. We read in 1 Samuel 1743. Amen. Where he started prophesying. In the 46th verse, look at what he said. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee. Listen, what else he said? And I will take thy head off from thee. He goes on to say, I will give your carcass in the host to the host of your people, the Philistines, and the fowls of the air shall eat of you. Ain't that powerful? Yeah. This is a little lad. Amen. He knew where his strength came from. You got to know your strength come from when giants come up in your life. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. And what happened? He began to lift up God. How great God is. Amen. He didn't concentrate on how great Goliath is. As a matter of fact, he never called Goliath a giant. Yeah. The people did. Amen. God wants you to start claiming your victory. In advance. Amen. Amen. Stop prophesying. Stop decreeing things. The air has a voice. The air has ears. Stop saying bad things over yourself, over yes. your family. Yes. Stop decreeing blessings. Come on here, somebody. Yes. That's right. Amen. Praise God. The same God that brought you out is going to bring you out again. Yes. Praise the name of God. And what happened? He slayed the giant. Lift your hands and give God some praise. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
yeah, circumstance, yeah, yeah, yeah. finances, health, yeah. relationship. Come on here, somebody. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Come yes. here. Come on here, somebody. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Elijah, God used him to call fire down from heaven. Yes. And he had one of the biggest giants that comes to us. That was a giant of discouragement. Because yeah. that old judge of Bell Creek said, I'm going to come out and kill you. Ha <laughs> ha. This man of God ran from her. Yes. Praise God. And then he started having a pity party. You don't kill no giant with a pity party. Turn to your nigga and say, the pity party don't work here. The pity party don't work here. Yeah. God said, I have 7,000 that won't bow down. Praise God. He got himself up. Glory be to God. And went about God's business. Greater is he and you than he that is in the world. Turn to your neighbor and say, Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Glory be to God. God is able through him. Philippians 4 13 says, I can do all things all not in your own power, yes. but I can do all things through Christ yes. that strengthens me. Yes. Somebody say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I don't know what giant you're facing today, but God is your supreme resource. Yes. Say, God is my supreme resource. Yes. I can rise up. When the enemy knocks me down, I can rise back up. Yes, because I know who I belong to. Yes. I belong to the king of kings. Yes. I belong to the real giant. Yes. Hallelujah to God. He will never leave me. Yes. He will never forsake me. Yes. He's the good shepherd. He said he'd be with me. That he would never forsake me. Yes. Glory be to God. Praise God. He is my battle lat. Yes. Hallelujah. He is a friend above all friends. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, he's able to break every chain. Uh, I don't care how long it's been in a chain. Uh, he's able to bring every shattered yes. piece of your life back together again. Yes. Glory every head bowed. Yeah. I want you to secretly, whatever <laughs> chain is in your life, I'm yeah. cutting it short, but whatever chain is in your life, yes. Yes. I want you just secretly, not too loud, say, God, take this chain right now. Pronounce the chain. Announce what it is. Say, God, take this chain. Take this chain. In the rubble shot right now. In the name of Jesus. God is able to handle the giants in your life. They are already defeated. They were defeated at Calvary. You got to know that you are a child of the king. Glory be to God. That he's your big brother. He's fighting for you. He's your advocate. He's your mediator. Glory yeah. be to God. He's upholding you. Even when you fall, he's holding you. Father God, right now, we break by the power of the living God. By the fire of God. By the blood of God. Every chain. Every disappointment. Every rejection. Every discouragement. Every backlash. Every back yeah. 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 in the name of Jesus. Yeah. 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 Every setback, whatever's being held up, we break it through the power of the living God. We ask the blood to cover it right now. Yeah. And we believe God that our giants will die by fire today. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Lord. He's well qualified to give the word of God. Hallelujah. She's our administrator, probably um, in new generation. So we thank God for her. And she really gave us that word. The Lord fed her so she was able to feed us the word of God. Yes, yes. We want to thank God. We thank God for her. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And at this time, you did the prayer. You did the prayer. Okay, at this time, we're going to. Um, it's going. It's going. 
Take it off. At this time, we're 